So to engage with the next generation of investors, I think it's really important that you actually talk to, uh, to that generation today. Uh, we've run a number of sounding boards with those clients to understand what, what they actually want. How does it differ from the previous generation? Uh, we also work with the current generation and talk in the round about wealth. Often it's a difficult conversation. So to actually sit down and talk perhaps about the family business and what the intent is as a family and what the plan is for that wealth management is really essential. And the final thing I would add is it's really important that your workforce <laughs> reflects and your recruitment reflects uh, the generation you're going to serve coming forward. So have you got programs that are bringing in, for example, apprentices, or are you just taking people from elsewhere in the industry? Try and grow the next generation of talent. So I think the way that we as wealth managers need to think about the next generation is twofold. It's partly education, and that needs to start at grassroots. Um, I think one of the challenges we have, particularly in the UK, is how we educate our young people through schools and universities. And I think banks, wealth managers need to be more engaged in those conversations quite early on. I think the second part of it is how we communicate with the next generation, because whilst many of us in the wealth management industry are, let's say, tech uh, dinosaurs, uh, for the next generation they're really tech natives, they think differently, they communicate differently. And we need to make sure that we can hold those conversations in the way that the next generation understand. For us, I think a lot of the work that we do with the next generation starts with wealth planning. So thinking about the succession of their family's wealth, um, helping them to engage with networks of, of other next gen um, young people and create that change that really the next generation seem to want to engage with. The next generation of investors, it's really important to engage with them. As we all know, it's a big challenge in the industry. Uh, the way to engage with them, I think, rests on lots of different key values. The first one is certainly around digital, having a more engaging distribution channel. That doesn't mean digital across the entire journey, but making the onboarding, making the reporting, making components, the information insights as digital as possible. The second is around the product set itself and making sure that that engages with them in, a, in areas that they're passionate about, be that direct investments, private equity, private debt, real estate, be that around impact investing, be that uh, that's a growing area. Certainly about components that actually make them interested and engaged in, in what's going to do. And that's where it needs to evolve for the industry is about making it digital, making it relevant. In order for the industry to engage with the next generation of investors, um, I think technology is going to be a big part in that. Uh, the next generation are much more competent with their mobile devices than people like me, unfortunately. Um, so I think that's a big part of it, but actually it's the belief in what we do will help them. I think that's a big part of it as well. So I think we've got to do a lot more education uh, to, the, to the next generation to help them with their savings plans. The industry is going to have to engage with the next generation of investors with a whole load of expectations um, that they will have. They are being immersed in a whole new technology experience. It's tech, they don't really notice it. These are services that are being served up in a whole range of fashions and what are called these new form factors. We call them smartphones. Mm -hmm. So really, the industry is just going to get comfortable with this. It's going to start experimenting. It's shifting its focus from a regulatory discretionary spend model to actually investing in growth and this future market. The trade routes uh, that they need to sit on are crucial. These are extremely affluent or aspirational affluent investors and they will expect incredible levels of service that is kind of always on 24 by 7. The challenge of engaging with the next generation of investors is happily not just one for the industry, right? It's, it's like lots of industries are dealing with this. So I think one of the first things we need to do is learn lessons from other industries, is understand what consumer product companies, what others are doing that are way ahead of us in the curve to engage. And so whether that means making the brand more accessible, so not just tied to financial products, but tied to things that they are otherwise engaging in. There was a conversation earlier about education in the schools. There's a conversation about you know, being present where they are in a way that's relevant to them. Uh, part of it is, is changing the language. There was conversations earlier in the sessions about how all of us get bogged down in all of the terminology and all of the, 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 the weight of our own language and turning it into, I think one of the firms mentioned that they get journalists to take the technical stuff and put it in human speak and make it more accessible that way. So it's, it's about being flexible, being mobile, and how we seek to have that access is going to be critical, I think.